Hello, friends. It is good to be with you again. This week's story comes from our Spark Story Bible, and it's called The Four Friends. I don't want to read it for us today, but I'm going to tell you the story really quick. You can find it in your Bible and read it. It's a beautiful story. So it goes like this. Jesus came to a town where there were many people who wanted to see him. And the house he was staying in was full, like packed. People could not get through the door. And four friends brought another friend who couldn't walk. And they couldn't get into the house. And they were pondering what to do. And so one that friend said, mm, maybe we should go home. And another friend said, uh-uh, I have an idea. Let's go up to the roof and dig a hole through the roof and lower him in. Now, roofs weren't made out of shingles and wood like our roofs were. They were made out of um, sheets of more like plants and lots of plants layered on to keep the water out. So it was easy to dig through. So they lowered the man right into where Jesus was teaching. That is huge. Four friends went to so much trouble to dig a hole in a roof to make sure their friend got to Jesus. That's helping. That's helping in a huge way, isn't it? Right? And that's what I want to talk about today. The different ways that we can help, even as kids, right? So there's lots of ways that we can help. Um, you guys, I'm sure, help at home, right? You put your dishes in the sink or in the dishwasher. You clean up your toys. You do, you know, you put your bike back in the garage where it belongs or on the curb, right? Um, you help at school, right? Sometimes you get to be the special helper or you get a special job to do. Um, sometimes, well, not sometimes, all the time, God has given us different kinds of gifts. Some people are strong, like the friends who carried a man up to the roof and then dug a hole in it. Some are imaginative and can think of cool solutions, like getting into a crowded room through a roof. Um, some friends have musical skills and bring beautiful music. Some of you will grow up to be teachers and doctors and helpers of all kinds. Some of you may even grow up to be pastors and tell the story of Jesus to others. God gives us all of our gifts so that we can be helpers with those gifts. Martin Luther has a fancy name for that. It's called vocation. And it, it just means uh, the things that we are called to do in the world, what God has planned for us and gifted us to do. Here's a really good example. I have a friend who uh, manages a printing house. That's what he does. He, but his passion, his vocation is baseball. And he is the commissioner of the adult baseball league here in Des Moines. And he takes his passion and he organizes baseball games. But that is a beautiful thing because then people get to go out and have teams and friends and play baseball. And, um, you know, you don't think of that as like a huge helping thing, right? Playing baseball. But think about it. You've got more friends now. You've got physical activity. You've got um, a team that you're part of. Everybody knows it's better when you're part of a team, right? So there are all kinds of ways that you are going to discover your gifts for helping. And sometimes it's going to look like, well, carrying something, right? Maybe it's helping somebody move stuff from one room to another. Sometimes it's going to be helping with your brain. Sometimes it's going to be helping with um, your eyeballs. You'll notice that maybe somebody doesn't have lunch today or doesn't always have a warm coat. You can tell your teacher. Maybe you are already a big like, you know, elementary kid and have an issue like the environment that you're passionate about and you can tell people about it and help with your brain and your heart, right? 
So my challenge to you this week is to think about ways that you can help, ways that God has given you gifts to help. Maybe you can are an amazing artist and did some Valentines for Kelly and Kelly is gonna give them to folks who need some Valentines. Maybe you're a really good cook and you're gonna make something tasty and share it with people. If you do the challenge this week, if you come up with a way to help someone, have mom or dad take a picture and send it to us at the church. Put it on Facebook, tag the church, do something so that we can share it with the grownups to show them that our kiddos are doing amazing things. I will be talking to you soon. Bye.